Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone! And if you're new here, hello! Thanks for watching! If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today we're talking about the 2022 Hyundai Elantra N, as well as the Kona N. Now, the N meaning it's the high performance variant of these vehicles. We'll start with the Elantra N first. Love it or hate it, this vehicle has radical styling. It's very edgy, very aggressive, but it does truly stand out. The front end, nice LED signature, like I said, it's aggressive looking very sporty going to the side profile a lot of body lines it will stand out but a lot of people say it's too much going on but they do agree overall the silhouette it's coupe like it's very sporty looking and the rear end the rear end has these great taillights that i love in my personal opinion now when you get the end variant suspension upgrades you get bigger brakes bigger calipers you can see the body at work itself is more aggressive a nice spoiler on the rear end nice little diffusers and stuff like that because this is the end model the high performance variant both of these vehicles have a 2-liter turbocharged engine making 276 horsepower and about 289 pound-feet of torque. Those are great numbers, especially in the Elantra. Being a small, compact car, you're low to the ground. With all the suspension upgrades, this thing just handles, man. It's a great little vehicle. And the interior of the Elantra, well, it's pretty luxurious. Now, this is a compact car, but there's plenty of good, nice material, soft-touch materials. Everything feels premium. You can get a dual-screen setup, nice large screens, and the Hyundai system is so easy to use. Even the hard touch buttons, everything feels a little bit more premium than other vehicles in this class. Now standard is a six speed manual. So you have this great turbo engine and a nice little handling vehicle and you can just roll your own gears. Now if you want to, you can get an eight speed dual clutch transmission and that shifts great. Lickety split shifts. So you have options here. Now, I like the Elantra N. It stands out. I know a lot of people think it's a little too much, but that vehicle is almost $33,000, which is pretty good. Other vehicles in this class, some are a little bit higher than this, or others are priced quite similarly, but this is a great vehicle. Now, if you want something that's more practical, go with the Kona N. The Kona N, obviously, is a small crossover SUV, but this vehicle, normally, it sells great. But when you add this bodywork to it, taking the plastic fenders that give it a little off-road touch and painting them, giving you big brakes, big wheels, this thing looks like a sporty uh, hot rod, or I should say a hot hatch, even though it is a crossover. But the front end, a big grill. You can see that the hood's slightly different. You have extra vents. A sharp-looking LED signature going to the side profile. It's a crossover. So you get some nice body lines. When you add that body matching... Uh, panels here and there where the cladding used to be. It really makes this vehicle stand out, makes it pop. And the rear end, well the rear end sharp looking. Nice tail lights. Overall this is a more practical vehicle. More cargo space and stuff like that. The dash is pretty nice as well. Now yes, this vehicle was designed a few years ago, so it does have a few older Hyundai things. There is more hard-touch plastics compared to the Elantra, but like I said, more practical, more easy to use, and people said on the track, the thing handles quite well. Now, you can't get a manual, I'm sorry guys, but you have to get that dual-clutch transmission. But still, that's a great pairing, and it's something that you can haul your family around in, go have fun. It is truly like a modern hot hatch, even though it is a crossover, but I want to know what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about these vehicles? Like I said, the Hyundai Elantra, that's $33,000. The Kona, being more practical, is almost $36,000. In between there, the Velocer N. Now, I've already made videos on the Velocer. I'll leave it in the description down below. But that vehicle, six-speed manual, or you can get the dual-clutch transmission. Very quirky, unique styling, but it's cool. We're slowly we're getting more and more N models, and we'll have more to come. I want to see more of these. I want more stick shift vehicles on the road, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you go with the Elantra? What do you like? What do you don't you like? Or would you go with the Kona? What do you like? what don't you like please let me know in the comments down below and if you haven't already and you want to please check out my channel i keep trying to give you guys more and more content i talk cars trucks crossovers and suvs combustion engines just like these and evs a little of everything but please like comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel and as always i truly truly appreciate you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one